Hey everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at how the Yakima XO system with the two gear warrior cargo baskets fits on the 2023 Chevrolet Tahoe. So this is a kit where you have the two cargo baskets, but the EXO system can be mixed and matched with different EXO accessories. I already did a full review on how this kit works, no matter what vehicle you have. So we'll just be taking a quick look at some of the things that are specific to the Chevrolet Tahoe and something you might want to think about when you have it with your car. Overall, it's a great fit, but let's take a look at those details. First off is clearance. So see here how much space you have from the back of your vehicle to the top shelf. Plenty of clearance there. In fact, from the license plate to the shelf, that's nine and a half inches. So no worries there. It even gives you a good amount of space to swing away. Now for the overall clearance, and that's going to be measured from our bumper to the end of our swing base. It sits at 34 inches. Basket sits a little bit further out at 35 inches. So that's a measurement to remember when you're backing into your garage, trying to park into a tight spot. Since you can load this up and then just put it onto your EXO system, if you want to and your garage has space for it, definitely something worth taking advantage of. Another thing is gonna be ground clearance. So underneath the swing base to ground 23 inches. So no worries there about accidentally hitting things, especially since it doesn't sit out that far past your vehicle compared to, let's say, a small trailer. You should be able to get up those steep inclines very well. Now for up top, with a Gear Warrior on the top shelf, you might wonder if you have visibility through your back window. That depends on how high you're going to stack your cargo. Where we have it right now with things like chairs and smaller bags, you can still kind of see through your rear view window. But as you get your larger totes and coolers, you will lose that visibility. On the bright side though, you will still be able to carry, let's say a kayak or a roof box or ladders on the roof of your Tahoe, since you have plenty of clearance up there towards the roof. Now, if you want to open up the hatch, you're going to have to swing the whole system away. So that lever I talked about earlier, see here how there's, it's a tight fit, but still a good amount of clearance in order to loosen this larger lever. Once that's loose, you can then pull this smaller nap and then push out on the entire system. Bring it to a 90 degree position. It's going to catch in the corner. If you're leaving it out like this, please use the included jack stand to support. Now it did come a little bit close. There is about an inch or so of clearance between the basket and the door, but it definitely fit. So that's something only worth considering if you overload the basket towards the back. You may lose that hatch access. But here, we now have plenty of space. We can grab things out of our hatch. We can set up our campsite. We can even set up a tent. There's a closer look at that clearance. Now you are able to swing this out 180 degrees. So when you take out the pin and the bolt of the top shelf, this swings all the way out. And this can also be how you set up your campsite. So if you want access to your cargo on this side, access to your cargo on the other side, while it's all loaded up, you can do so. I personally prefer just taking off the baskets since it's very quick, very easy. I do recommend checking out that full demo to see how fast that was. Putting everything back, notice how we have locks on these things. This is gonna have a lot of lock cores you're gonna have to consider. The baskets don't have any lock cores, so that's something worth thinking about for security. If you want everything keyed alike, go ahead, grab a pack of same key system lock cores to match the number of accessories you're gonna get for the exosystem. Bringing this back in, we're gonna tighten this back down. Very important step before you drive off and away. Another thing to note here is notice how there's a spot for wiring. That's because you can get the lit kit 
which adds tail lights to the system. You can use this with the wiring on your Tahoe if you get that extra additional lit kit. Well, all in all, that was a brief summary of how well it fits with the Tahoe. I do like how if I want to carry around some kayaks, I can up on the roof. Then all of my other cargo can go onto these cargo baskets. While it did come close to the hatch door when it was out in a 90 degree angle, there was still definitely clearance there. So just keep that in mind when loading this up with your cargo. How much cargo? Well, the top shelf has 80 pounds capacity. The bottom swing base has 110. So that's gonna be a total of 190 pounds. Definitely more than what you would get from a roof box on your roof, but less than what you would get from a small trailer added to the back of your vehicle. But with a trailer, you have extra hassle. This keeps everything in one place and it's easy to remove the baskets if needed. Hopefully this video helped you out with seeing if this is the right fit for you. Check out the other kits and add-ons if you want to mix and match within the Yakima Exo system. But this right here was a look at the Gear Warrior cargo basket on the top shelf and the Gear Warrior cargo basket on the Exo swing base right here on the Yakima Exo system. And you saw how it fits on the 2023 Chevrolet Tahoe.